As much of an experience sitting in a theater can be, the journey there can be just as big of one as well. That expression applies no better than to the AMC South Barrington. There is just something about that incredible megaplex sitting in the distance that when you finally lay eyes on it, you just know you're in for an incredible time at the movies. Even though this particular cinema is only about 10 minutes from my home, every trip there always feels like an awesome voyage. It always feels like you're taking a metaphorical trip to a new universe where cinematic transformation awaits. I will never forget my first time at this particular AMC. The huge lobby, the standy displays for running future movies, the multiple halls containing a total of 24 screens, and I of course have to mention the multiple Coke freestyle machines that can be accessed on either side of the main lobby. This theater also offers incredibly immersive IMAX and Dolby auditoriums as well, both of which I highly recommend. The drive home cannot be forgotten either. The longer time frame creates the perfect atmosphere to discuss the movie you just witnessed. My friends and I have often purposely selected this theater just so we had more time to talk about what we just watched, you know, as we're traveling home. I, I guess that wouldn't all necessarily apply if you were, you know, if you live nearby, but hey, even walking to your car at this theater feels awesome as the red glow of the AMC logo illuminates the parking lot. Now, in regards to favorite memories, there are many at this theater. Here are just a few. June 2014. My friend Alex and I recently learned how much we loved movies and going to the theater. We soon learned that there was this independent movie coming out that starred Marvel favorites John Favreau, Scarlett Johansson, and Robert Downey Jr. And it was just one of the most awesome possible topics a movie could be about food. It, w it was just something we had to see. What made this trip even more memorable, however, was that, however, was that it was the first movie we ever purposely drove to a further theater to see. Before this, you know, most movies were at closer theaters to us, but not this one. It was the 10 o'clock showing on a Wednesday in the middle of the week, and we trekked out to the AMC South Barrington. Again, it was only about an additional 10 minutes to the trip than usual, but it still ultimately made it that much more memorable. Adding on to that, I think that 10 o'clock time frame made it so much more special because the roads were totally empty too when we drove home, and it just made for this really cool atmosphere to talk about the movie. And the next moment on this list happened just a month later. July 2014. My friend Alex, uh, again, we originally and unfortunately had no plans of seeing Edge of Tomorrow. But the reviews were coming in, the hype was building, we just had to see this movie before it left cinemas. And we decided to make an event of it. Alex and I saw it in IMAX. And there was only one other person there, and it was amazing. And I can't remember the exact day of the week it was, but I think it was like a Monday or Tuesday, so it wasn't, so it was kind of just a weeknight, so I think it made it that much more cooler. We had such a fun time. It was so random, and it just it turned out to be you know one of mine and Alex's favorite movies of 2014. It was just so much fun. Next on the list, June 2018, another IMAX memory, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now, this movie didn't exactly receive rave reviews, but that didn't matter. My dad and I both loved Jurassic Park, and just to hear that theme song again was so special, and just this experience that with my dad, it was it was awesome. And I have to say, we were both were particularly excited when Jeff Goldblum reappeared as Ian Malcolm. Great seeing him back. Next up on the list is February 2021. The vaccine phase of the pandemic had just started. I had not yet been vaccinated at that point since my group was not eligible at the moment, but the hopes of vaccines coming out had dramatically decreased my anxiety and I was so ready to go see another movie. My mom and I trekked out to Barrington and saw Promising Young Woman. I would say this was like my first normalish movie experience in the pandemic theater area. The few before still felt a little strange. I don't know, the capacity limits were still in place for this one too, but something about this experience just felt like a regular trip to the movies. I remember being there, feeling present, and just walking out thinking, huh, this could have been a regular non-pandemic Saturday. Carrie Mulligan gave an incredible performance and just a very, very impactful movie. Last on the list is from July 2021. And just for a few reasons, my anxiety was not great the week leading up to this particular memory. I was having a rough few days, caught in my head about a few things, but then a nice trip to the movies with my friend, Frankie, sincerely made it all better. The film we saw was The Green Knight, and it was undoubtedly one of the most atmospheric movies of that year. Being transported to that world and being at the theater with my friend, it just reminded me how therapeutic a trip to the movies can be, and how much I missed that aspect when theaters were shut down, you know, about seven or eight months before then. 
Again, huge shout out to Vaccines, just all the healthcare workers for making trips to the movies possible again. Sincerely, thank you. Now, I know I said the last memory was the last one of this video, but there was one I wanted to add that happened after I initially recorded this video. The real last memory in this video is from April 2022, and the movie was Everything Everywhere All at Once. This one is special for quite a few reasons. First, and most importantly, however, this is the first movie my girlfriend and I ever saw together. It was such an incredible shared experience, and I will always remember this as our first movie date. Adding on to that, the movie was amazing and so much fun, definitely recommend, and the weather was my favorite type of movie going weather, that perfectly crisp fall or spring night, in this case spring. There's just something so relaxing about seeing a movie when the weather's like this. Lastly, the driving footage is footage I needed for this video to really work at all, so huge shout out to my girlfriend for filming me and you know making this video possible at all. And these are just a few of the memories I have at this theater. When all is said and done, AMC South Barrington may be one of my favorite theaters. And it is definitely my favorite one to drive to and my favorite one to drive home from. Thank you all for watching and have an awesome rest of your day.